everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video i really hope that you guys are doing well and we're going to be looking at what is going on across the north atlantic so we can see that airflow pressure is spinning out there near the azores and uh even along the intertropical convergence zone as well there is some convection even some thunderstorms and when we see those white dots that is indicative of lightning strikes Looking at the U.S., uh, we can see a portion of the U.S. much isn't really happening. A bit of snow moving through portions of the Great Lakes. And uh, there's another storm system which is on the way. And as we head into tomorrow, that is going to increase the risk of tornadoes. And so we're going to be starting with that. This is the update from the Storm Prediction Center. And here we can see this area across uh, parts of Alabama going into Georgia and the Carolinas as well, much of South Carolina and a portion of Southern North Carolina being in that enhanced risk of uh, experiencing the aforementioned conditions. So the severe thunderstorms, which may result in high winds and even tornadoes as we're going to be heading into tomorrow and tomorrow evening. Elsewhere across the southeastern states, Mississippi, even for much of Florida, and up into uh, most of North Carolina, even reaching the tip of Virginia there, there's that slight risk, that marginal risk as we head into states such as Tennessee and Kentucky. So this next storm system is going to be making its way through as we head into the latter part of this week and many areas uh to be affected by this upcoming storm system were just a few days ago battered by that other one which moved through and brought its impact it resulted in a lot of damage and even it took a few lives unfortunately so this is yet another situation which is looming on the horizon for the eastern u.s but i'll be keeping you guys posted on what is happening let's now drift to the caribbean and see what is happening and what is expected through today so here we're looking at the infrared satellites again we can see a couple of patches of clouds moving in which are bringing some uh, rainfall activity to portions of the lesser antilles it's mostly uh, some intermittent showers those showers which are on and off on and off which may be light moderate or even heavy at times as we head toward the Western Caribbean, though, with that frontal system within the area, there is some increased moisture. So there is some rainfall activity in portions of Western Cuba and even for Southern Florida as well. Let's go on to that rainfall forecast for today. Here we can see it. And as the map becomes more colorful, that is indicating more rainfall activity. So again, for Florida, we can see some of those yellow, orange, and even some red shadings in there. So there could be some substantial rainfall across some areas. Similar story for the Northern Bahamas, uh, Grand Bahama, the Gabaco Islands, even heading towards Andros Island. There could be some substantial rainfall, but things will be a bit drier the further south we go to the Southern Bahamas and even for the Turks and Caicos Islands as well. And uh, again, as I said, across portions of Western Cuba, there is some shower activity right now. Some of that even near the Cayman Islands. And uh, for Jamaica, there could be some showers popping up here and there, especially for East and Southern parishes. And that was the story yesterday for some areas. It was a pretty rainy day, but uh, it's likely to be improved weather today. As we head toward Central America, going to Mexico, uh, Belize, even over in Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, the offshore islands, the Keys, the Bay Islands of Honduras. A whole lot of rainfall activity is not expected. Yes, some showers are possible, but the chance is pretty low for any substantial rainfall. Head into portions of Nicaragua, even for Costa Rica uh, near the Pacific coast and offshore Panama. That is going to be where a lot of rainfall activity takes place along the intertropical convergence zone going towards Colombia. And even for parts of southern Venezuela and sections of the Guyanas, there may be some substantial rainfall today. Heading up to the ABC Islands now, much isn't expected. Yes, some showers are in the area, nothing substantial. Trinidad, Tobago, through the Lesser Antilles, some showers are possible. Similar store for the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, parts of Hispaniola as well. So that is what is expected as it relates to the rainfall activity today. Now, in terms of the winds, it's going to be a windy day for much of the Eastern Caribbean Islands. So for the Lesser Antilles, the Virgin Islands, the ABC Islands, Maybe even parts of Jamaica, we can see these darker purple and blue shadings, which indicate that winds are going to be up to, say, 15, 16 knots or a bit higher than that, up to 20, 22, 24 knots at the maximum as we head through today. Things will be a bit calmer across the Bahamas and even over in parts of Central America. 
And with that, those seas are quite rough, coupled with the fact that it's high tide right now because of the new moon. So when there is a new moon or full moon, uh, those tides are higher. Now, this is what GFS is showing for this morning. And here we can see some of these shades of greens and uh, even those darker blues as well. So wave heights across the Caribbean at the maximum today, up to around 7 or even 8 feet in the central Caribbean as we can see. And it is a similar story coming in from the east for the uh, Atlantic side of the Lesser Antilles. But for many other areas, mostly those blue shadings, especially that light blue and even the whites as well. So wave heights across parts of the Bahamas, as offshore of Cuba, even Jamaica and uh, Haiti as well, could be up to say one or even two feet at maximum. Uh, seas are going to be quite rough for some of us, but for others, it's going to be pretty tranquil today. Even up toward Bermuda, higher seas as well, up to 7 or even 8 feet. And so guys, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video. I really hope that you found it to be quite informative. And if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.